Okay. Peter, how are you? Very good. How are you? Doing well. So tell me a little bit about yourself. What do you do? Where do you work for? Sure. So my name is Peter Kelly. I'm the VP of Engineering at Tigera. We're the company behind Project Calico. Nice. The most widely used uh, adopted CNI in Kubernetes. Mm -hmm. um, prior to Tigera, I worked at Nginx, and I have a particular interest in ingress technologies. Nice. So your company, so I, I joined as a media, whatever, media analyst here for, for KubeCon, and I got a lot of email from different companies. Um, your company contacted me because they wanted to talk a little bit about the whole thing that is happening right now, which is API Gateway right. uh, versus Ingress. So you have experience in both sides. We were talking a little bit about that earlier, that basically you, because you work for Nginx, you know the Ingress side, and also there is a lot going on right now. So can you explain a little bit what is the difference between sure. Ingress and API Gateway, and why is it a big thing now? Absolutely. <clears throat> and it's very confusing yeah. at the moment, even the terminology around. I was about to say, because gateway. it's also Gateway API as well. Correct. API Gateway. Ah, sorry, I, I actually misspoke. I, saw, like, yeah, I, I, I said API this. Gateway, not Gateway API. OK, so maybe you can explain better. Absolutely. So it is confusing. Uh, you know, Naming things is hard yeah. in, in computing. This is the perfect example of why naming things is hard. Um, an API gateway is a you know a general uh, you know term for something that controls access to your APIs in terms of rate limiting, in terms okay. of routing, and things like that. So you could argue that gateway API is a, a you know a subset or a version of an API gateway in some ways. Um, so the the difference really is uh, Ingress is a resource. Uh, old resource in Kubernetes. It's still, old resource. It's yeah. still supported. Okay. Uh, but we're definitely, the community is definitely encouraging people to uh, move towards the gateway API. Okay. Okay. So you even see that in the Kubernetes documentation. If you go to the Ingress uh, resource, it encourages people instead to look at gateway API. So basically, gateway API is a way to interact. So it's basically an uh, open source or basically a standardized version of Ingress. So we don't want to call it Ingress anymore. So, so yeah, the way it works is um, both of these concepts uh, uh, essentially boil down to getting external traffic yeah. routed to services that are yeah. running inside your cluster. And they both do that. Both the Ingress API and the Gateway API, they provide a spec for how you can do that. Yes. Um, there are many implementations of both specs. Okay. And many implementations use different underlying technologies, which I can talk about in a second. But essentially, they both uh, ultimately get external traffic routed into internal services. Okay. The Gateway API actually started in SIG Network as Ingress V2. Okay. So just to give you an idea, it's essentially the next generation of okay. Ingress. Um, but they're very, very different. So, oh. so Ingress is a very simple resource, a very simple API, yeah. um, it's, but it's quite limited. So simple can be good. It's very easy to get started. It's one resource. Um, Gateway API is a little bit more complex okay. initially uh, to get your head around and to understand how everything interacts. There are multiple resources, supports like an ORBAC model with multiple personas. So it's a little bit more complex to get started. Okay. But it's a much more powerful, expressive API. Um, so just to give a bit of history about the Ingress, uh, it's a very simple API. It does some very basic things for routing external traffic internally, um, but people want more customizations. They want more power than that. Um, the most popular Ingress well, implementation was based on Nginx, mm -hmm. uh, Ingress Nginx. So what a lot of users did is they wanted access to the fine-grained pieces of configuration of the Nginx proxy yeah. to do like more advanced routing and load balancing and yeah. header manipulation and things like that. Uh, so the way that people got around the limited API in Ingress that doesn't provide you access to, to such things is to do custom annotations. Yeah. And custom annotations are basically just string string, string, string right? They're key values. Mm -hmm. They're not validated, they're not part of a, of a CRD. Mm -hmm. um, you're relying on the implementation to validate whatever input uh, that goes into custom annotations, which can be a big security hole. And there was recently a CPE, yeah. right? In, in yeah, just Congress. a few days ago. Just a few days ago, yeah. exactly. So, what happened, uh, so Nginx Ingress, or Ingress Nginx, has 118 
custom annotations okay. on top of the ingress spec just to control Nginx right. the way users wanted. So this is kind of getting out of control, it's mm -hmm. getting very complex, and it means you can't really uh, port your exactly. underlying implementation. Because obviously those annotations are not compatible with another solution. If I change Nginx to another one, like I don't know, Apache API 6 or something like that, they are not compatible. That's exactly right. So it's not portable at all. Right. So the, the effort then in the community and, and, and the steering group was to get Gateway API um, to kind of solve some of the problems that were introduced with, with uh, the evolution of Ingress to a, a richer specification in, in Gateway API. Okay, so basically uh, it's not like Nginx is going out of business or, or they're not going to be running anymore. They're going to now be interpreting, be interpreting these manifests better. So instead of reading, for example, the annotations, they're going to be reading some parts of the spec and basically doing the same thing. At the end, they're going to be generating Nginx config files, right? Yeah, yeah. Ultimately, whatever the implementation is, whether it's Envoy or Nginx or some other yeah. proxy, the, the proxy that's running doesn't know it's part of an Ingress right. solution or a gateway API solution or even that it's running in Kubernetes. The gateway or the other controller that's running is essentially programming or updating that configuration. Right. Yeah, exactly. So um, there are multiple implementations of Ingress and there are multiple implementations of Gateway API. The Nginx Ingress, um, there's a project called uh, Ingate. There was a talk about it here at KubeCon. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, the concept there is to take as much of the custom annotations mm -hmm. and see if they can form part of the Gateway spec officially. Okay. Uh, that will help a lot of Nginx and Ingress users move and mm -hmm. migrate into Gateway API. The migration is a big kind of yeah. pain point at the moment. Yeah. yeah, of course, because obviously you need to translate all of those annotations to actual things inside the spec. Yeah. But hopefully that will have much more support and people will be able to do everything. That's yeah, the idea. that's the idea. So like getting started today, start with the Gateway API spec. Okay. If you're getting started today, yeah, if you're already on an Ingress, there are some migration tools to help you move over. There's Ingress to Gateway, which is an okay. open source tool, converts your old Ingress YAML to uh, to Gateway API specific ones. Okay. Um, Calico, if I can talk about yeah. Calico for a second. So we just announced uh, support for an Ingress Gateway, Calico Ingress Gateway, and it's based on Envoy. Uh -huh. uh, it's in our open source solution and, and our commercial, commercial solutions. Um, it's 100% upstream Envoy Gateway. Okay. So Envoy Gateway is an open source project. It's a sub project of Envoy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a fantastic project. It fully supports and implements the Gateway API spec, mm -hmm. and it offers additional capabilities beyond that as well. Okay. Um, which is one one of the kind of flexible things, kind of like annotations mm -hmm. in the old Ingress. There's ways of extending the Gateway API. Okay. But it's done through CRDs. It's done through like a, something called policy attachment, which okay. is a much more kind of flexible. Interesting. So we're going to need a B B three in the future. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once we don't repeat the same mistakes. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, what are the things? So so I'm reading like there are a few things that are important about the gateway API. Right. Which is uh, well, you you mentioned that before you have like a one ingress like it's one one uh, thing right one ingress for one service maybe you can you can combine them but the idea is to maybe have again one ingress per service. As you mentioned that now maybe you can have a single gateway API. What, what is the best uh, practice here? Should we have only one manifest or, or should we have one manifest per service? What is the best way to do it? Yeah, it depends. So the, the, one of the powerful things about gateway API is it introduces different, uh, different uh, resources based on the persona, based on the, the person that should be interacting with them. Okay. So previously everything was in the ingress. Yes. So the ORBAC was not really uh, you know, an option. Ah, right. So in Gateway API, yeah, it's broken into something called a Gateway class, which is like the, the kind of, think of it like a, a, an interface in programming language. Mm -hmm. So it defines like the spec of mm -hmm. what a Gateway can be in the cluster. Oh, okay. And typically the kind of uh, infrastructure provider, the infrastructure operator will, will define what that is. And then you'll have uh, like a cluster operator, a different role, actually instantiating a version of that Gateway. So that's the gateway resource. So you have gateway class and then a gateway. And then finally you have the application developer. So the person deploying a microservice, they can uh, configure something like a HTTP route, 
-hmm. so they can actually define how traffic gets from the gateway to their applications right and that's all they have access to and all they have control i was going to say that you can be more granular right now because exactly. before it was just you have permissions or not to modify the ingress right. and that can break a lot of things absolutely yeah yeah so that was one of the key kind of concepts of the gateway api which makes it slightly trickier to get started with you know yeah. there's a little bit more to learn about how the hierarchy of these resources work and different personas so it's not as easy to get going but it's much more powerful so in the previous world of ingress uh, we had a lot of great integrations with providers right so we were able to create a lot of balancer we have the aws con the ingress controller whatever it's called load balancer controller yep. that creates all of that so how is it going to work right now with the, the new way the gateway API? gateway api yeah so gateway api is it's a you know a, uh, uh, a mature API now in terms of its its uh, uh, v1.2 I think maybe 1.3 right now. Um, so it's a you know a, uh, a stable uh, API. So it's definitely production ready. Uh, you can start using it. There's over 30 implementations of Gateway API. Mm -hmm. So you know name your favorite proxy, and there's probably like a you know a handful of implementations available. So there are many based on Envoy. There is many based on Nginx, HAProxy, Ngrok. There's so many implementations of Gateway API. There's almost too many to choose from. Okay. Uh, there was a great talk again here at KubeCon this this week yesterday, a panel discussion about like which Gateway API implementation is right for you. Mm -hmm. and, and there's multiple options. Istio is another one. Yeah. Cilium have one as well, of course. And, and now Calico is announcing our, our Ingress Gateway. So there's many, many different options to choose from. Uh, it may come down to feature parity. You know, some implement all of the spec. Some of these might only implement some of the spec. Right. Some of them uh, support ingress and gateway API. Some of them only focus on gateway API. And then you want to look at the extensions, like what extensions do they provide if I want something beyond the gateway API. Mm -hmm. And then maybe, you know, depending on your company, you might already use Envoy, for example. Right. So then you're obviously going to go for an Envoy-based uh, gateway API. Uh, how about monitoring or reliability? Is something that because before it was just nginx thing, so or, or whatever proxy, it's like a different implementation. Now is it integrated? Uh, not so much. No. So the observability that's a great uh, point actually. So when you're coming down to choose like which implementation of gateway API you should you should um, uh, you should choose observability and what what metrics are available is kind of underlying that like what's the underlying okay. prox proxy implementation ah, okay so uh, it's still the same way it is it is okay. it is exactly interesting yeah. okay thank you very much peter for your, your knowledge now we have to start working on more things and always after going to a conference i i realized that i need to do more work yeah <laughs> so i don't like going to these things okay but yeah thank you very much for everything yeah, thanks for the opportunity yeah thank you. great to talk cheers